One of the things that really attracts me to playing the character of Onegin is that he's a bit of an enigma. He's modeled on a 19th century character type uh, that, that's very prevalent in 19th century Russian stories uh, called the superfluous man. He's sort of an anti-hero. He does do things that go against our social mores, but he does those within the framework of social respectability. So he takes on a very cynical worldview and he, and he lives a life of pleasure and a sort of Epicurean lifestyle. And what ends up happening in these stories, it generates calamity around him. There are always other characters who, in, in the story who end up being hurt by his behavior. Tatiana is one of the characters in all of opera, I think, who most clearly grows throughout the piece. You can see that she starts off as a young, naive girl, and by the end of the opera, she's a grown woman who has to make hard choices and makes a choice that is hard, that isn't necessarily what is going to make her happiest, but she's made a promise and she's going to keep that promise. And it's a hard thing, but also I think as a 21st century singer and in the audience too, a 21st century audience, seeing a woman who sticks to her guns and doesn't give in to a man just because he says he loves her after treating her not so well when she was younger and not the woman she grows to be. I think there's something that's very relatable about her to play and to watch, hopefully. In a way, I think Lenski, though, chooses always to see, to take everyone at face value. And so his approach to people is that he engages Onyegin in the way that he does, and Onyegin's response to him is how Lenski then proceeds in their relationship. And since Onyegin, I think, sees in Lenski someone at least intellectually intriguing enough to befriend him, their relationship then can grow as two, probably not equals, but as two men who can take interest in one another. And I think probably one of the reasons Lenski loses it a little at the party is that he feels disappointed in himself for having perceived Onyegin as sort of a different person than who he sees now. It's hard for me as a very independent modern woman, me Mag Marino, to sometimes not judge her and the choices that she makes as to, or, or just the way she moves through the world. But the thing that I forget when approaching a person from another time in another country sometimes is like, these are the circumstances and this is her reality. Her reality is that she's gonna grow up and she's gonna be married and that's very exciting for her. So I really try to, to step away and to just go with the material that I've been given. And I think that one of the beautiful things about these particular characters is that they are written in a very real kind of way. They're very real characters. When you see a story like Onyegin, there's so many different ways to look at it. It's not a simple story at all. And I think that's the thing that we can really connect with is, you know, to be mindful, to be careful with everyone you meet and really look deeply into people and, and to not paint them as superficial characters within your own little narrative that you're telling yourself at that particular moment in time. I, I think that's where my head's at right now with Onyegin in, in, a, in a larger sense. Thank you.